Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about some new set photos which reveal a lot about an upcoming episode. And also we have a couple of other things to talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so The Flash returns on March 9th. We don't have very long until The Flash comes back. It's a couple of weeks now. Currently, we're on the 20th of February. We only have eight more days in the month because, you know, February is shorter. And then we're on to the first week of March, and it's just after that. And so it's going to be coming on a Wednesday night. As most of you guys know, they switch the nights, keeping Superman Lois in the Flash's time slot on Tuesday. That actually marks the first time that the Flash is, like, officially changed. It's always been on a Tuesday, so it's going to be interesting to see it actually being on a different day. Personally, I'm very excited for it to be on a different day to Superman Lois because it just allows me to make videos for Superman Lois's new episode and The Flash's episode. It's always hard when they play back to back because it's like, what do I do first? And if you do it two days later, it's not as good. So. I like to get those reviews out fresh at least the next day afterwards. So I'm looking forward to The Flash coming back on March 9th. And we'll get some more promotional material before the episode comes out. I'm sure there's going to be some sneak peeks and things that we can break down. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about today's topic. This is coming from Canada Graphs. You can follow his Patreon in the description below to get early access to set photos which he posts there. I'm a follower there. I am subscribed to his Patreon. That's how I have access to these images. Please be sure to do the same thing if you want to be able to get an early look at these images because I'm sure a lot of you guys missed out on them if you weren't signed up for his Patreon. Also, you can check out Canada Graphs' Twitter and blog in the description below to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Vancouver. But basically, the Patreon post is from a couple days back and it teases set photos for Season 8, Episode 15. So I reckon this is a pretty significant episode because we're leading up to the end of the season. I presume The Flash Season 8 is going to be about 18 episodes, just like last season. So I reckon they're going to be going into the last couple months of filming, probably finishing filming in April. But again, I have no confirmation on when it's actually ending and how many episodes this season is. But the description in Canada Graphs' blog for Season 8, Episode 15, and what they were shooting on the set in Vancouver is that the Flash was on set the other day with showrunner Eric Wallace directing, we'll talk about that in a bit, Grant Gustin as Barry Allen slash The Flash and Christian Magby as Dion Owen slash The Steel Force did a scene where the pair go for a long walk and then stop at a bench where Barry grabs a newspaper off it, reads it before the pair continue on with Barry looking at some device in his hand and he will have more details on his blog later this weekend. So be on the lookout for that but for now let's go ahead and break this down. So yes Eric Wallace is directing this episode. It's kind of rare that a showrunner directs a show. It's happened before in the Arrowverse. It's more common on streaming services and streaming TV more so than network TV. So it's pretty cool to see Eric on set. As you can see in this photo right here, he's with Grant directing him throughout the scene and also Christian is in the background. Obviously Christian plays Dion, who is a creation of Eric Wallace. So it makes sense that Eric is directing this episode if Dion is playing like a fairly decent role. And I really do like Dion. I think he's one of the best introductions in the last couple of seasons. I really like the actor. I think he does an amazing job. And so I'm always very happy to see him back and it always links into time travel and timeline stuff in some way because of him being the still force and being able to detect all of this. And that's a big thing in this scene that they're filming. So we have a couple of photos and obviously as Canada Graph described, they walk and they're walking to some sort of bench. You can see both of them here, Grant fully suited up in his flash suit. And then they move over and Barry looks at a device in his hand. According to a couple of people online, this may be the device that Chester devised that has maybe been retooled as a kind of timeline checker because as you know, a lot of story this season is in regards to time travel and timeline changes. So this has definitely been altered and it's some sort of way for him to keep track of what is going on. And what is going on is in fact, if we look at this, 
Here is a newspaper saying Zoom and Godspeed destroy Central City. This is a Central City picture news article. I can't make out a date. However, this is mad. So this follows on from that set photo we got the other day where we talked about the potential of the Legion of Zoom coming because there was a specific comic book cover on the front of a production folder. And so it seems like they're actually full on going for this and it looks like at least a bunch of speeders from Barry's past are going to be returning. I don't know if Reverse Flash is involved in this, but are we going to be seeing the return of Zoom and Godspeed and they're trying to destroy Central City? So I think we have a couple of options. The two options that pop up in my mind first is this. Number one, they actually return and we see the return of Zoom, we see the return of Godspeed. Obviously, you can have Teddy Sears come back and you can have the Godspeed actor come back. And Teddy Sears has been pretty vocal that he wants to return as Zoom at some point. So that can happen and they can use stunt actors the whole time whilst they're fully masked up. So that could have definitely been happening whilst they've been shooting and we've just not seen it. But the second option is this. Because of the drastic wording of the title of Zoom and Godspeed destroy Central City, like completely wipe it out. I'm going to say maybe this is a potential newspaper from the future or maybe an alternate timeline. And this is worst case scenario, what could be happening. And so I think with Barry potentially jumping from timeline to timeline and with Dion with him, he's probably keeping track of what's going on and looking at that device, maybe they jump into this timeline where this is in fact true. And that's why he finds a newspaper on the bench saying Zoom and Godspeed destroy Central City because in this alternate timeline, this actually happens. Maybe Barry never defeated Zoom, or Zoom just somehow returned, and Godspeed broke out of his prison because, as you guys know, Godspeed is in prison right now, just like Reverse Flash. And if you zoom in on the article, I can't really make out what specific date this is because if it's a different date, it would confirm maybe it's in the future, or if it's in the present day, it would pretty much confirm that we're in an alternate timeline is what they're filming. But it's just so interesting that they are bringing in Zoom and Godspeed into this story because we haven't been told the full extent of what's going on. We've got bits and pieces and we're kind of piecing it together and it definitely seems like we are dealing with huge timeline changes this season unlike we've ever seen before. It's similar to Flashpoint but it seems this is more of a continual thing because it begins next episode when we return and we have Excess and Impulse realizing that they've changed the timeline because when they returned home and they kept on coming back, they've somehow altered space and time, which is very fitting because they are the children of Barry Allen. However, surely they would have learned by now. But anyway, because they weren't careful, there is big ramifications and that's going to spawn the villains of this season and I'm wondering if we actually get Zoom and Godspeed, are they going to be like joint villains? Are they going to be teaming up? And instead of the Legion of Zoom, which was normally the rogues, what happens if we have Zoom and Godspeed and maybe Reverse Flash? Because remember Jesse L. Martin recently teased that Reverse Flash and Tom Kavanagh will be returning. So what happens if the three of them as a trio take over Central City? and rule these specific timelines. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, if Barry changes the timeline in every version of Central City, they are going to be ruling, but you would suspect at some point they're going to realize something is up and maybe they run over to the other timeline because they definitely had the capability to do that. We've seen that in the past with all these different versions of Reverse Flash showing up and they are the new Legion of Zoom and that is the main villains of this season. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo. So this is a photo of another newspaper article. And from what I can see, it says 17 dead and dozens more injured, I would suppose, behind the sticker in particle accelerator explosion. So this makes me wonder, why is the particle accelerator on? Are we back in the past? Is that why we have Central City Picture News being the ones reporting it? And does it mean in this version of the timeline people die in the particle accelerator rather being affected and becoming matters? 
because in that other version of the timeline, I think no one died. It just affected a lot of people. And so with this newspaper article being around, we can suppose that maybe Barry has time traveled and he's back to when the particle accelerator went off and it's the next day perhaps because a newspaper article normally does it as news. So this is a news piece. And so with 17 dead and dozens more injured, could this confirm we're in the past? I definitely think it could. However, maybe in this new version of the timeline, Barry doesn't become the Flash until this point and the particle accelerator goes off and that's when our version of Barry shows up or there's always the chance that he does a reverse flash and say with the timeline changes maybe Barry was stuck in another timeline he didn't have his powers and he has to set off the particle accelerator to get his powers once again similar to Flashpoint and how they did it in the comics but it's definitely interesting that we got two breaking news articles does this mean they are from two different timelines or is it from two consecutive days? But how has Barry got those two newspapers if potentially he's just shown up in this new timeline? Or does at this point the timeline changes and the newspaper actually changes and that's why they have the two newspapers with them on set? Is it going to start off with 17 people dead after the particle accelerator explosion and then the timeline changes and Barry monitors it using the device and it changes to zoom and godspeed destroy Central City? I think that is probably the most likely option. I don't think that Barry's going to try and get his powers back by turning on the particle accelerator. I think Barry killing people is way too drastic and so I think the idea of the timeline changing right then and there is definitely more viable. So what do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited? I'm very very excited and shout out to Canada Grass for getting some really good photos especially the newspaper article one. So let's move on to the next thing and this comes from Jessica Park Kennedy because she posted a video on her Instagram and she's in one of the Flash trailers and her trailer was that she spotted on set but this Instagram post confirmed that she is back in fact as Nora West Allen as XS in this episode and also according to some people online Jordan Fisher has finished Broadway so we might see him back as Bart Allen in this episode and so it's definitely a big timeline changing episode if Nora is back and if maybe Bart is going to show up as well because as you know the next episode is a Bart and Nora heavy episode and I'm just so happy to see them return as like regular guests especially as the storyline is seeming like it's going to kick off next week with them and what they do and Barry's going to feel the ramifications of it throughout the entire rest of the season. So with her back, I definitely think she is somehow involved with Barry, and she's probably going with Barry to these different points in the timeline. Or maybe at one point their paths intersect as they try and stop all of the changes because they realize what is actually going on. But again, it's always possible that this version of Nora isn't aware of these timeline changes, but you would have to suspect she is because she is aware in the next episode and I don't think she's gonna like sit back relax and do nothing else so talking of next episode let's go over the synopsis for the mid-season premiere aka season 8 episode 6 titled impulsive excessive disorder and so this is how it goes picking up where season 7 left off after returning home from a visit from their parents found renewal, Bart and Nora quickly realize that things are not exactly as they left them. The duo race to repair any fissures in the timeline and restore everything back to the way it's supposed to be. So this is interesting. So it picks off where we left season 7 because that was the last time we saw Bart and Nora and Armageddon started straight after that so we didn't have time to really get into that. We have mentioned that Bart and Nora had come back a couple of times but it seems as they return home to the future they realize things are not the same and that is what kicks them off to try and go back in time and fix things. And like I mentioned before, they're pretty smart, they're not stupid, so they kind of know what they're doing in regards to time travel. I mean, so far Nora has made no actual big changes to the timeline, so this is obviously something big that happens. There's going to be something when they return home in the future that's going to kick them off to realize, oh crap, we have to go back in the past and we have to fix everything that has been changed to the timeline. But as you all know, and as it's been explained many times by even Jay Garrick, remember he used that cracked 
teacup theory that nothing can actually be properly fixed. There's always going to be some ruptures and some fissures in the timeline. And so with them not realizing this, they're going to go back in the past. They're going to try and restore everything to the way it's supposed to be. But with that, there's going to be big ramifications, which will definitely kick off the new story because this is the mid-season premiere. And although it's supposed to be kind of like an interlude episode, I don't think it's actually a true interlude episode because it kicks off everything that's going to be starting. Because as you saw from the photos, everything's to do with timeline changes. And we're very confused about what's going on. Is Zoom coming back? Is Godspeed coming back? What is truly happening? We don't know right now. And I think after we get this episode, we're going to get a lot more details about the future of this season although we're starting to see a path line where we're pretty sure it's going to be a speedster villain and it's possible that it could be zoom godspeed or reverse flash maybe all teaming up together maybe in a new timeline and perhaps that is one of the big fixes that they realize they have to do because maybe the flash is gone and he's been defeated by say all of them the legion of zoom in the future that could be one of the changes and that would definitely be a big one also it was announced that jay garrick is going to be in this episode which is very exciting so it's a full-on flash family episode and although it's probably going to be nora and bart for most of the episode because we're going to be going back in time seeing their fixes and we'll probably see team flash from alternate angles like we know that they're going back to the night that Barry got struck by lightning and even Eddie Thorne is going to be showing up and you're going to see a past version of Joe as they work together as partners obviously before Eddie dies but definitely one of the big timeline changes could be that Eddie has been changed and maybe that kicks off everything in regards to maybe Cobalt Blue coming I'm not entirely convinced, although Eddie is going to be in multiple episodes, at least three episodes it was reported. But I'm thinking his return is more along the lines of he is one of the big timeline changes. He didn't die at the end of The Flash Season 1. And maybe Reverse Flash was let loose once again, and that is probably how the Legion of Zoom kicks off. But in regards to Jay Garrick, I think he's going to do a similar thing to Bart and Nora that he did when Barry was trying to change the timeline a couple of seasons ago. And like I said, that's when he did the timeline fracture cup theory. And definitely Bart and Nora are going to learn a lot about what it's like to change the timeline and the big ramifications of actually changing things despite, you know, there being some changes, you kind of have to learn to accept what's going on because that's your own fault and you can't change it back to exactly how it was before but i'm presuming it's going to be like something big and that is definitely the root cause for them going back so what do you guys think about all of this are you excited for the return of the flash season 8 i'm really excited it's been a long time i think it ended in like december so i'm about ready for new episodes of the flash and so impulsive excessive disorder is going to be the mid-season premiere we're going to see the return of impulse excess jay garrick and we're going to see where the rest of the season is going to take us and another reminder for you guys that this episode is going to be airing on Wednesday, March 9th. And Wednesday night is going to be the new Flash night. I'm very excited. The fact that we got Superman, Lois, The Flash, and the fact that they're not airing back to back. So we have one night to rest and sit down to enjoy it. But yeah, that pretty much does it in regards to all the news. Obviously, we'll be covering everything as we find out more. But very excited for Eric Wallace's new episode and what's going on with Zoom and Godspeed because I really don't know the exact answers right now but we're definitely going to get teased about it in the next couple of episodes about the trajectory of this new half of the season but one thing's for sure it's going to be very speedster heavy because they are the ones changing the timeline and although the Steel Force is involved he's normally involved because of Iris and because of his connection to the Speed Force and I would presume we get reference the speed force and what's going on because i don't think she's shown up as far as i have seen from behind the scenes photos i haven't seen anything suggesting that as of right now so i do think that dion is just our one connection to the forces but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future videos also turn on notifications 
and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.